<laughs> hey loves, um, it's nice to be here again and today I have a friend with me I'm sure if you've seen some of my old videos you should definitely be familiar with her face I'll let her introduce herself and then I'll tell you what we're doing today guys so Hello friends, our family, our family. <laughs> How you all doing? My name is Yetinde and I'm happy to be here again. Today this video is majorly for the female. But that doesn't mean because you are a guy you shouldn't watch this because you know you have female friends, you have sisters, you have moms, you have girlfriends and you have wives. So why shouldn't you watch this? So today's video is about the feminine hygiene. So we're going to be discussing with you guys um, what the females should do, how we can take care of ourselves, um, how we can stay clean, how we can stay, you know, smelling fresh and nice and basically being hygienic. That's what we're going to be discussing today. So um, the first First point we are going to be um, discussing with you guys is how we can take care of ourselves while we are on our menstrual period. So, um, what do you think a girl, a, a lady, a female can do, like while she's on her menstrual period, to stay fresh and clean? Okay, well, everybody should know this that um, you should change your part. It depends. It, it depends on how your flow is rushing. Some have normal flow and some have heavy flow. So try as much as possible. If you belong to any any group, any group, try as much to as possible change your to change your part. Yeah, like regularly. If, if, if you are if you are the type that have heavy flow, you should not use a pad for more than. Depend. In fact, it depends on how heavy it is. Yeah. If you have very heavy flow, you should change your pad like every three hours. Yeah. Like you should change your pad like every three hours. If you have like mildly heavy flow probably five hours but whether you have heavy flow or not maximum is seven hours seven to eight hours change your parts please except you want something uh, like me down. I have normal flow at least I change my bath three times in a day in the morning afternoon mm -hmm. and when you're finally night. going to bed so yeah. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. Um, so one thing I think um, females can also do while they are on their period is to bathe at least twice in a day mm -hmm. to stay fresh, yeah. to stay clean. You should at least yeah. bathe because blood has its own yeah blood has its own scent. stinking smell. So, so now imagine if the blood has stayed on your body for so long, long you didn't change your pad, you didn't have your bath. Like pity, pity, pity those around you now. Like pity those. Are, if I pity yourself, because it's not even like Jenny. How can you be on your period and you do not So to avoid that, you should bathe at least, so at least twice in a day. You can bathe five times. Nobody, nobody is going to scold you for that. You're just trying to yes, stay yes, clean. clean. Yeah. What I normally do, I don't know if other do this. I have my menstrual pants separately. Mm, mm, mm. I have my menstrual pants separately. I don't. Wear use like any same. out pants yeah that's true it. that's true you should have you should have like a different set of pants that you will use for even if it is just two even three. if it's just two that you're going to like be interchanging like yes. where you wash you where you wash let it be that those pants are mainly and only for from when you are on your periods then yeah. when you're off your period you can decide to wear your jeans your g string your Anything white you string like. Whatever string you choose to wear, you can wear after your period. But while you're on your period, you should have different set of panties that you should wear. Then yeah. I also think that, um, like after the period, like maybe a few days after the period, when you've stopped using um, the menstrual, the sanitary towel, you can use panty liners. Of course. Yeah, because some days after the period, you still have discharges. Yeah, a little, little stains. Yeah, so I need to that. And that can. Yeah, can stain your pants and not and not. You yeah, will try exactly, to wash them exactly. too clean. So. so you should still you should still use panty liners and they are not expensive. I think in Nigeria you should have you should have some that has like thirty liners in it and you should be able to buy like four hundred five hundred. Yeah. So uh, in a month, I think that is still okay. affordable. And you can not use it here. once. You can not use everything in a month. Yeah. To take yeah. like three four months. So. I would say, I would say we, we ladies should stop using antiseptic soap down there to wash to your wash, yeah. especially while on, on your menstrual period, mm -hmm. you, you will be saying I want to, I want that place to be clean because there's so many nice. bacteria, bacteria coming mm. out and everything, that place, 
No, you stop that, please. Stop that. Stop using that. Um, and I also feel like even apart from when you're on your period, even like on a normal everyday basis, yeah, you shouldn't use soap or whatever. Use or whatever. water, please. Just use water. Not scented soap. Not scented soap. Just use basically just use water, yeah. Water, to, water. Wash, yeah. to wash your and you know, yeah, yeah, and so there are yeah. there are soaps separated for that for that particular place. purpose, yeah, like uh, V wash, yeah, yeah, like recommended V wash. And even if you are using that, don't use it every day. You shouldn't even use it every at least day. twice in a week. Yeah, because Not, don't use it today. I use it tomorrow. No, use it today. I use it in the next three or four days after. Mm -hmm. That place alone cleans itself. It cleanses itself. So why so should you? You don't have that external substance. Add this so many to, things in there. To, to clean yourself down there so and make sure that whatever you're going to use to watch to wash your you know <laughs> make sure it is it is um, recommended by a gynecologist or yeah. a doctor don't just put anything so um, one other thing is ladies please invest in body sprays and perfumes like there are very cheap ones please that are nice smell good. because it's smelling good. good is a different thing from looking good. You can yes. look good and, and not smell and good. And smelling like like what? like locals beans and sucky wee. <laughs> so you should look good and also smell good. Like let both you know let balance both complement. Let it be a balance. You know, look good and smell good. Don't yes. come out here smelling like rotten egg. No, it's not acceptable. So you should look good and smell good. Um. So another thing is uh. I think we should avoid bleaching creams as much as possible because these creams they are the ingredients are very very ash they, they, are, they are chemicals actually and it spills off the skin it's very very it's very very dangerous yeah. and some of these ingredients are they can cause cancer of the skin and I'm very sure that we don't want that so we should avoid bleaching and bleaching also makes the body smell you sweat a sex excessively when you're bleaching and you know discoloration and all of that like why would you even want that for yourself and I don't know who put this idea in our head that the the lighter the better the fairer the better like black is beautiful can't you see can't you see like what are you, what are you trying to tell us like black is beautiful no matter yes. the kind of skin you were created in it is definitely perfect like yes. everybody is perfect in their own skin so why do you want to shed your skin are you a snake Entire. i don't understand <laughs> so um um this should stop wearing on the wheels at night See, I have that place. I, 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 I don't understand. Are you going to a party? Are you going please, out? Please, like please. you're in the comfort, you're in the comfort of your of house, house, and you're wearing underwear. Like what? Wearing bra at me, night. What happened? Are you, do you are you living in bondage? Why would you be in your house and you wear a bra? Do you know how uncomfortable a bra is? You can wear, you can wear like a camisole, a singlet, or something. If you're something if you're in your food. house and you are comfortable, I don't see. The reason why you should be um, tightening yourself up again at right. night, like even even during the day that we are, that we wear bras, some of us cannot breathe. Like this thing is choking. It's get tired. It's, <laughs> it's like I'm carrying a bag of cement on my chest and I have something yes, holding now, it together. We want so to why would you just now, remove it? Why would you now be yourself? in your house and you still be doing that to yourself? But if you're outside, maybe yeah, you're you not can. You, know, you are not free things. where you are. You can remove the bra and wear underwear. And wear underwear. Yes. Yeah. You and then for well. for ladies also, I want to tell us that if you have very thick ties, you know there are some of us that our ties are like you know it has this friction going on between what, it. What do you mean? <laughs> First, like, what do you mean? I'm in that category too. So um to avoid because the more that friction occurs, the more that part will be getting dark. It's yes, literally getting black yes, in yes. color. So to avoid that sometimes um, you make you make there may be bruise there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bruise when it now dries, it yes. turns to like that dark um, yes, yes. discoloration. So um the advice is if you're going out and you're wearing a skirt, make sure you wear a tight yeah. under. So it will avoid your ties directly touching each, each other. other. Yeah, so wear it tight. But once you come back to your house, please okay. remove it. Remove it. Do you want to be yourself? How many is your body? <laughs> Uh, no, the second to the last thing for me okay. is please 
don't have one bra. I use, I use God <laughs> to beg you. I've like two. don't have one black bra. One black bra. We know, we know, we know it's your favorite color. We know black is your favorite, your favorite color. favorite bra, please. We know black is your favorite color, but please, please, let's talk, please. Buy additional two or three, eh, so that you can be washing and interchanging. Yes. Eh? Thank, yes. you, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so the last thing from me is um, panties. Please try as much as possible to wear cotton panties. Um, I know silk and really has satin. that cotton panties mm -hmm. and free one. Don't yeah, buy, not very tight. If you are size 28, don't buy a size 20. Don't don't buy buy a size 20, 20 you. Because you want to be because sexy. Because I said it's too big. No, it's too big. Be free. Let like your underwear free. Free. Yeah, be free. And avoid, avoid silky and satin underwear. Because yeah. silky materials are tightly woven. So there's no, there's no space for air to come into your or, you know into your private part Pee -pee. yeah <laughs> into your private area so please we, I know that um, silky and lacy panties are sexy and everything but please don't go and because you want to be sexy key yourself mm. and go and get disease that you're going to infection be finding cure for well. and infections and all of that so please try as much as possible to wear cotton panties so that's and it for when me. you are feeling Somehow down there, please contact your gynecologist. Run and go to your infection can cause infertility. Of course, it leads to infertility. Because when, and you're not taking care of yourself. You're not taking medications. You're not taking injections. Nothing. Trust me, hmm. guys. Please don't be shy to talk to a doctor when it comes to. So that it won't turn to to the hmm. tip goes. Hmm. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> guys. Before it before it results in that, please. Before it starts scratching and it's just you know, in public, go to your doctor. Okay. Brushes, um, itching, foul smell, any kind of because color, really reddish coloration, to, or anything. To you know we have we have yeah everywhere because is everywhere is open. We have so many openings. I think we have about three openings yeah. down there. So we are so prone to anything at all and one advice i'm going to leave you guys with is if you go out and you're trying to use a public toilet don't or whatever i don't sit directly on it and if you know you want to sit directly on it just roll a tissue paper you can spray um, it's not even advisable to sit directly it's on not advisable to toilet. sit no. directly on it but some of us mm. some some people have weight that they can't they can't they can't afford to squat or bend or something so if you know you are like that get a tissue paper you can spray sanitizer on it use it to clean the toilet seat edge then you can sit on it and don't don't sit on public toilet and be pressing phone be spending time spending 30 minutes on the public when, it's toilet, when it's not your house so you have you have to be careful of these things and uh you should i think it's 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 good for girls to have a small pack in our bags that toiletries we have, yeah that we can have our toiletries like in small sizes yeah yeah i don't do that but i will you start started it yeah. <laughs> okay yeah i do it because uh especially when it's getting close to that time of the month you know you should have uh, an extra pad a sanitizer that small pack tissue and all of that yeah i think it's advisable because we don't know when these things can just decide to come and visit us especially those that don't know how to calculate their money and those that don't that cycle. don't have regular menstrual cycle. menstrual cycle yeah so it's good to always be prepared for what is to come <laughs> so guys um do you have anything else to say that's all okay so guys um that's all from us share this video with um all females that you know and tell them to share with every female that they know um, um i'm sure you want to see her again let me know in the comment section and whatever you want us to talk about let me know in the comment section uh that's all from us today guys uh, i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe to my channel please leave a comment share this video with your friends i love you guys watch hard please watch the advertisement please. guys watch Ever the advertisement so that she can buy briani for me <laughs> she wants me <laughs> thank god she doesn't even want the bugatti mm -hmm. thank god i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye